Team coverage tonight, a critical vote on the Mobile River and Bayway project has been delayed. The decision made amid pushback over the controversial toll bridge. My co-anchor Greg Peterson is leading our team coverage live from the field tonight. Greg. Well, Kim, a lot has happened on both sides of the bay today. A couple of crucial votes, a couple of crucial resolutions that will really play a big uh, impact in what happens here as far as the Bayway project is concerned. The Mobile Area Metro Metropolitan Planning Organization voted to delay a decision on whether to include the project in the region's transportation plan today. The bridge must be in that plan to qualify for uh, federal funding, and that is huge. Uh, NBC 15's Andrea Ramey was at that meeting this morning. Andrea, no money means no project, right? Exactly, Greg, and it was a packed house this morning at that meeting. Opposition showing up in droves, voicing their anger over the possibility of being told on the Bayway and Bridge. They are not listening. It's rare to see this kind of passion and attendance at the typically mundane meetings of the Metropolitan Planning Organization, or MPO. ALDOT has not done a good job of looking at alternative financing. But today's meeting was different than most. Today, the MPO was considering approving funding for the I-10 Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. Without the MPO's approval, federal and state dollars cannot be spent on it. No money means no project. No, I'm all for the bridge, I'm not for the tolls. The bridge project, as it's currently spelled out, would charge drivers six bucks one way to cross the bay on I-10, a price many say is simply too high. So you're looking at a $12 trip just to go see the grandkids? That's exactly right. Can you factor that into your budget? No, I'm a, a, on disability and you know, so I'm limited income. With public pressure against the toll at a fever pitch, today Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson, the MPO's chairman, said the group should hit the pause button, delay the decision so more funding options can be considered. I'm going to say this, I'm for the bridge, okay? And so I would have to have understanding of all the facts of, you know, why can't we do this or why we can't do that, and then we'll make a determination. Though the proverbial can's been kicked down the road, today the anti-toll coalition claimed victory. They listened and they spoke for us and we're so happy that they're going to table it until October. Now the issue in Mobile is tabled until after the toll authority meets in Montgomery October 7th. It's at that meeting that alternative funding ideas for this project will be discussed. Reporting live in Mobile, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. Greg.